one more time, just for the hell of it. What is up, YouTube? I'm your friendly neighborhood, Endman64, bringing you the last few episodes of Pokemon Black Redemption. In the last episodes, we've wrapped up all of the little side shenanigans outside of catching, uh, Tornadus, or Thunderous, whichever one I have to deal with. I think it's Tornadus. And getting a bunch of interesting Pokemon that you could potentially use for competitive playing. I went through a few weeks. It has been a very long time since I last recorded this, in case you're wondering. And as we are here now at level 70, I have beefed up everybody. Now, not that they don't have all the moves I want to just yet. We're going to put that on the wraps right now. But I have started to teach them some moves that will be beneficial for this fight through the Elite Four, among other things. I don't know why this thing is being so slow today. Actually, you know what? I do have a theory, but it's only a theory, but either way. We have our team of six. Everybody has done their part. Everyone's been doing pretty good so far. Some people have been holding things. Some people have been taking care of more weight than they've been given out. And for the most part, I think we're set for what should be an exciting last few episodes. There are only a few changes I would like to make. And they all have to do with moves. Um, okay. Not that I don't mind the theme for Route 10, it's just I'd rather it not just go buh, 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 all over again. So first things first, I have to make sure I have the move, because I do have a move I want to give to my homeboy, Zeus. And I do have it. Wild Charge in place of Thunderbolt. Now, Thunderbolt has slightly more power, and Wild Charge does give off recoil damage. But as you saw... Oh, Chipotle can learn it. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Zeus's physical attack is much higher than his, than his special attack. So, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to give Zeus any form of special type coverage. I am going to be getting rid of acrobatics for obvious reasons. I'm no longer not holding any items, so there's no reason for me to have acrobatics on you. Also, considering I have a flying type, there's really no need to have it at all. We're going to go back to my homeboy, Flash Cannon. Steel's not that super effective of a type against much, but worst case scenario, I feel like Zeus will be able to do some pretty useful things with, for, with Flash Cannon. Potentially lowering an opponent's special, what have you. It's going to keep Crunch, it's going to keep Wild Charge. And worst case scenario, if I change my mind, we can change up and proceed through there. That leaves just one move that I need to edit. And that I know we have, because we found it right before we caught Kirim. That is the move Ice Beam. Not a lot of Pokemon can learn it, and Seismitoad, disappointingly, aka Tsunami, cannot learn it. However, Skylar and Daenerys both can. Because Daenerys is bulkier, I'm going to be giving her Ice Beam in lieu of Flamethrower, which I had taught her mostly for A, for type for extra move damage, and so I could have a fire type attack. But this Elite Four is kind of weird. We don't really need an extravagant fire type attacker here. And honestly, I don't have any need for any special items or what have you, so before we go into the meat of this, I would like to talk a bit about the team as we proceed on this final trek through both Route 10 and Victory Road. Zeus has been the most adventurous Pokemon I've ever had. It was hell finding him, but every time I've needed a big hit, 
Zeus has come through when I've needed it most. He was extremely useful in helping battle Pokemon and beef these guys up in the giant chasm. His Thunder Wave has helped us catch a bunch of different types of Pokemon. And of all the electric types I've used in all of these playthroughs, even all the way back to that first Electabuzz I used in Fire Red, I have to say Zeus is my favorite. And, that, and, that, and think about it, that's not a loaded thing. I've also used Galvantula. I've also used Luxray, Maynectric. I've used a lot of electric types, guys. It's not a loaded thing when I say Zeus is my favorite electric type. Great nature, as you can see there, plus special attack at the expense of special defense, but Zeus is not supposed to be tanky, so that's a good thing. Uh, he'll be holding the Zap Plate that I found in the underwater ruins. Did not end up finding any of the other plates because I kept getting pushed out by the currents, but whatever. Tsunami! My water ground type. She has been here for the long haul, and she has also been a titan of sorts throughout taking on these these elite four. These actually the whole game, Tsunami's been very good. For the most part, I haven't had anything really to complain about her. She's done everything I've needed her to do. The only thing that was difficult for her was leveling her up because her best moves cause damage to everybody, basically except for Zeus. Or Daenerys, for that matter, so... Tsunami is one of the few of our original six to go through this route that is still here. Technically two-thirds, but oh well, who cares. Um, I really don't have much else to say. Poison Touch has been a great ability. It's poisoned so many things. And to have the ability to poison as well as drain HP with Drain Punch has been definitely one of the most fun combinations I've ever had. I'll have to give it, I'll have to give this game credit. This last playthrough has been a lot more fun than the previous one. But then hell froze over and thus Arthur appeared. Arthur was definitely the toughest part of getting through the grind. You wouldn't think that because grass types evolve more quickly than any other types, but Arthur made me feel it. It was a long ass grind to get Arthur to relevancy here, but I feel like Arthur's going to be more of a support role here than anything moving forward into the rest of this game. Oh, sorry. Um, in terms of moves, haven't really had much. It's mostly just been giga drain. It's mostly just been giga draining everything. There's nothing wrong with that, though. This is the time Chipotle shines. I got rid of Hunter, specifically so I could get Chipotle to shine here. If Chipotle lets me down, I don't know what I'm going to do, because uh, I love Volcarona. It was also fun to torment people with. Even with the horrible nature. Daenerys, what can you say about Dragonite? It's been extremely useful. It's my best attacking option. And I do have plans for Daenerys that go beyond the Elite Four here. And Skylar has been Skylar. Nothing really bad to report about her either. But there is one last thing I'd like to go over as we begin this trek back up to Victory Road as Julia. Actually, two things. Uh, because I do remember I owe you guys an explanation about why Julia is Julia. And I fully intend on giving you that explanation and why her name is her name. But first, there is something I need to point out. As I've mentioned in many playthroughs that we've done, this is the last of the contingency plans. I've had to use a lot of contingency plans because either Elgato hasn't wanted to work or something else hasn't wanted to work among a myriad of annoying ass reasons for everything. But but no. Um 
This is the very last of the contingency plans. Which means... This is also... If we're gonna be blunt and honest... Gates are placed at the border of one space and another space. Okay, cool. I thought he was gonna... I thought he was gonna say something interesting. I thought he was gonna say something interesting, but he didn't. But basically, this is... This is the big part. Um... Since this is the last of all of the things we may need... Uh-oh. Ice puzzles. Joy. Joy, 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 joy. Oh, there you go. That was easy enough. This is... No joke. The last game I think I'm gonna use... Fraps for. I really don't have any other reason to use Fraps. I have Elgato working. It's been doing exponentially well for me. I can't complain. I can't really say much. Honestly? Yeah, it's it's been... It's been weird to think about that. That I don't have to... Necess... Nec the have to necessarily do much to basically to progress I have Elgato working I have a bunch of projects laid out that I don't have to worry about succession rates for and to be honest I'm not afraid I'm actually more excited about the future of this channel than I was a long time ago especially dealing with all the stuff I've dealt with over the years uh, let's see. Let's cross over here. I have to re-navigate this because I have no idea where the hell I'm going. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure this is the right way, though. And... Doctor? I don't think we need you yet. You don't have to give me the news. I do not have a bad case of loving you. But it's sort of weird to notice that. Like, how many projects have I used Fraps for? The majority of them, I would have to say. And I honestly can't do much worse, and, uh, yep, here we are. Let me think here for a minute before we begin this last fight with our quote-unquote rival. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a good chunk of seven at least, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, a good chunk of 15, 16, a good chunk of 17, 18, 19, 23, and 26. Of all those Let's Plays, I have needed Fraps for. I'm probably... Oh, yeah, and 2027 for Kingdom Hearts Days. Those are all the projects I've used Fraps for. And to be here and witnessing that it might be coming to an end? I don't know. I feel kind of weird. And in order to make myself not feel weird anymore, let's kick Sharon's face in. Because that never makes me feel weird. Julia, it's difficult, isn't it? When you confront yourself, you have to notice things about yourself that aren't too flattering. Of course, and no one can get away from themselves. Oh, hello. M Marshall? My mentor told me you were here, so I came to see. Listen, even if you lose in battle, if you surpass what you've done before, you've bested yourself. Take the opportunity of a battle to look at your opponent, look at the Pokemon involved, and look at yourself. Are those Alder's words? Maybe, but I'm borrowing them. What I want are battles with trainers who believe in themselves, like that. When I mix it up with a trainer like that, both my Pokemon and I get even stronger. Well then, I'll be waiting for your challenge in the Pokemon League. Seemed to forgot my last challenge in the Pokemon League, but whatever. 
I guess that's that. Okay, Julia, accept this Pokemon battle. All right. One last clash with our <coughs> quote unquote friend. Or quote unquote rival, whatever. All right, he starts off with Lipard. Ooh, level 65. Big mistake for you. You are no match for my team. I should just put out Volcarona to sweep everything, but I feel like giving everyone their opportunity to shine. That includes Zeus. Alright. And Night Slash should do a decent chunk. And it did. And this should knock you out. Lipard's not the best defensively. I tried using one in Sword and Shield, and it did not work at all. Alright, Gigalith. Alright, who do I use for that? How about Tsunami? Why not? Why the hell not, Tsunami? You've earned it. And Surf. Surf you into oblivion. As long as we don't get it off on a get it let it get off a sandstorm. I don't think this thing knows sandstorm. Oh, stealth rock, you piece of shit. So much for putting Volcarona out there. That's not gonna help. So I guess tsunami sweeping this. Or the rest of the team. Alright. Uh, Simi Sage, of course. You know what? No. No. You need to overcome your fear of grass-type tsunami. You're probably slower, but I don't care. Okay, you're slower. And I do care. And I think you're dead. You are most certainly dead. Okay. Maybe flying helps you avoid Stealth Rock? Please? It does. Okay, good. I was afraid. <laughs> I don't remember the, all the necess things of Stealth Rock because I've never done competitive Pokemon. Or when I do, I don't have any flying types. I know Levitate does. I have to thank, uh, what's his name? False Swipe Gaming for teaching me that. I've learned a lot from him, actually. You guys should go watch his videos. Uh, well, my water type's dead, so... I'll have to take advantage of Embor's weaknesses to psychic types. Hopefully you don't have a rock type attack. Oh, you lived, you turd. Oh. Oh my lord, head smash. Oh, isn't that gonna kill you though? So it's a double KO? Yeah, it's a double KO, okay. Hey, I will give you this, Sharon. You are doing better than a lot of other people are. Alright, Daenerys. And Unpheasant. Which is no match for me. Oh, Stealth Rock did work. Oh, oh no. That's not good. That's not good at all. But Unpheasant isn't good either, so... Pfft. Really? Daenerys! Come on! Daenerys! Come on! It's a freaking bird! Uh, Alright, Haxorus! Oh boy. Alright. Time to determine if we've learned our lesson and if we've picked the right dragon in this matchup. I think we did. Outrage! Okay, he's faster. He's faster. Daenerys is dead. Oh, well. Oh, well, hey, you took out half my team here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, Zeus. Oh, Levitate doesn't do that? Well, then why didn't it? I don't know. I don't know anymore, guys. I don't know. All right, Zeus is dead. Oh, this is this is this is becoming very interesting. 
All right, Arthur. Let's toxic you. So you can poison yourself. We know it doesn't have a citrus berry or anything like that. And Arthur's... Oh, Arthur! Good job. Good job. And just for that, you get a full restore. Because I have no other healing items that would matter. Because I used all my hyper potions training. And evidently, I didn't train enough. Alright, and hit, hurt yourself. That's good. Poison should do another chunk. Good job, Arthur. Yeah, you know what we're doing now. Now we sit and play the waiting game. Boost up our defenses in case he gets another outrage off. I don't think he will. And he will. Okay. And... Ooh, wow. One coil built that much defense up. I will say, that is impressive. That is very impressive, Arthur. You are not my favorite grass-type starter. And Arthur's dead. Alright. Okay. So all I have left is Chipotle. Time for Chipotle to shit all over this team. And, oh my god, half of its health. Thank god you're faster. Otherwise, I don't know what I'd do. Good riddance. You just trolled half of my team with one Haxorus. I still think I made the right decision because my Haxorus was sucking. Thank you. I saw what was missing in me. A Volcarona. That was all you were missing, Sharon, a Volcarona. A pseudo-legendary. I'll keep battling many trainers in Pokemon like this, and if I can learn what kind of person I am, it will open up my path. I'm sure this path will lead me to become the person I'm meant to be. Pokemon will always be with you, and me, as we go down our own paths. Our important friends, Pokemon. Well, he just... ruined many of my hopes and dreams for this. So... While I go heal and spend all of the money that I have on healing items before this Pokemon League battle which we shouldn't have to do I will leave things off here so thank you guys for joining me I'm your friendly neighborhood and man 64 join me next time for our crusade to the elite four until we meet again sayonara <laughs>